Okay, so now we're finally getting to some of the good parts. Um, when I assembled this, after I had the table done, I concentrated on the uh, mechanical components. I didn't uh, do any wiring till the end. So, but um, so mainly I, I focused on the, the rails and the ball screw. And, but in my design, when I designed this on Fusion 360, I had all these locations for all the holes that I needed. And these holes go right on through the table, um, right through the rails. Like these here are 516 threaded rod. And if you look right through down to the frame, they go right to the bottom and I've got, looks like I got a washer, lock washer and a lock nut. And I've got them cranked so that sandwiches the whole thing down nice and solid. I think I got them about every six inches apart. So that's what I did. And I, and I located everything with the CNC. Took each plate at a time, one at a time, and just ran it through uh, a program on the CNC. But you could just as easily do it by uh, manually layout. But if you're careful, get everything square, everything in line, measured good, you'll have no problems. Or not too many anyway. Now the thing that um, I did to get the gantry lined up on it, as far as these parallel, I took this one, well one of them, maybe it was this one, and I locked it down first. I locked these these bolts down. All of them. But I, got it, I lined it up somewhat you know, just somewhat flush down here and all everything else lined up. See, I've got the, the inside actually cut. So these kind of went flush. So anyway, um, like I said, I don't recommend using these, these, um, uh, what are they? These cheap hardwood flooring things, laminated MDF. They tear up your tools like really, really fast. So. I wouldn't use that. I would use uh, either uh, good uh, Russian birch plywood or just regular MDF. Um, so that's what I did. I got it bolted down and I, like I said, I, I, I cinched this one down solid and left this one loose. I got it all assembled, but I left it loose. And then when I assembled the gantry and got it all squared up and locked, locked down as far as screw down here and pretty well square to this one, at least as close as I could, then, uh, then I could, and I had it all assembled and I locked these screws that held these in place. So everything's kind of stiff here. And as I run it back and forth, it, wherever it, this ends up, is where it needs to be. So then I would bring it, once I got it close by running it back and forth by hand, then I'd come down, pull it down this way, and I'd tighten this one somewhat. Then I'd go down there and I'd tighten that a little bit. And then I'd come back here and I'd tighten the next one somewhat. I'd go back and forth and make sure it's moving smooth. And I've never had a problem with it. The only thing that, with hindsight, that uh, was not good about it is because I've got three planks down here for one reason or another, you know, if I had done one, one, um, base plate and then laid out the holes by hand, then this one wouldn't be say three sixteenths of an inch off this way. They're still parallel, but one or the other is like that way, five millimeters. They're just, it's off. I kind of, I, I went flush on both sides, but it just didn't turn out quite the same up here, and it should have. Um, like, I guess where the, the, the nut on the um, gantry, where it, where it ends up here, there's still a gap on one side, one side or the other, like where, where it dogs out. So with hindsight, Maybe should have just left this alone, left this as a one solid piece and done, did that by hand. But I had it in three pieces and get this into my, my CNC, which is a uh, narrow also. So I couldn't really get 
the whole table in here. So, um, yeah, that's about it for the for the uh, Y axis. Now, with hindsight, another thing I would have done is these fans. Like I'm pushing my steppers a little bit, a um, little bit to the max. They get hot. So I, I do like having a fan on there, especially because I, I run, I do long runs. And so when they're, when it's doing a lot of zigzagging around, it, it, it's going to, it's at maximum and it's, it, uh, and it's at maximum for a long time. So a fan is pretty good to have. So I think if with hindsight, I would have took this instead of just notching out just one of these boards and giving it space. I would have pocketed the whole thing down a ways and put a pocket through here for the fan to draw draw air either this way or that way, whichever way, but to, to cool this uh, less obtrusively. This is kind of in the way. I even catch my, my shirt in here a lot of times because there's no guard on this side. I actually blow into the motor is what I do. I know people say you're supposed to draw it away, but... Yeah, doesn't make no sense to me. Not in this case, anyway. Uh, I think that's it. That's it for the Y-axis. Thanks.